Welcome everybody to my second let's play. Welcome to Mountain Blade Warband. And not just the vanilla version, no. Today we're playing Ender the Mini 1257. It's, uh, it's a very nice uh, mod for the Mountain Blade Warband series. It's, uh, as it says, this mod, uh, that mod, this mod attempts to reflect the reality of 13th century Europe. Before starting your game, you need to choose the recruitment type for your game. Choose wisely, as you will not be able to change it after you started the game. So, um, uh, in the Mountain Blade Warband, vanilla version, you only have the native Warband recruitment system, in which you can go uh, from, uh, well, small towns where you can recruit peasants or uh, warriors in a certain way. You can then train these peasants and or warriors into better units. This costs money and recruitment costs and you need to train them yourselves uh, either by uh, having a, the, the trainer skill or experience through battle. And you also have the lance recruitment system. I'm not familiar with this system. I mean uh, I, I've watched uh, let's plays from other people like uh, Diplex Heated or I believe his name is. And he as well chose for the native Warband recruitment system. I've uh, played Mountain Blade Warband, the vanilla version, very much. I mean, I enjoyed the, I enjoy the game. Uh, graphically, it's not really much, but it's, it's very entertaining. I mean, gameplay-wise, it's as uh, as Rome Total War is. It's just awesome, really. <laughs> so I'll start a new game with a native Warband recruitment system. Uh, my gender. Um, it doesn't really matter, I mean, male or female, just go female. Even though the uh, the options will tell you, uh, make it harder for you to uh, become a noble uh, or a bannerman. But, sure, let's, let's make it as hard as possible, so we'll be a thief. And as a thief we went on to be a street urchin. And from there, a game voucher. Let's go all rotten or whatever. Uh, well, we're a thief. We're always in for more money. Who will we serve? Um, my goal for this let's play is to conquer the regions what are now called the Netherlands. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm Dutch, so in some way kind of have to reclaim um, in the beginning it's uh, the the lands of, of Holland and Belgium are in control of the Holy Roman Empire uh, I believe it's, it's, it's called that but uh, so serving them I'm not able to uh, to uh, to conquer these regions then uh, the closest faction is uh, what we now call friend France I'm not really uh, a fan of, of playing as the French. I mean, doesn't really have any bonuses as playing, uh, which uh, doesn't really have any bonuses uh, per faction. But uh, yeah, something like that. So I'll be uh, selecting the English, the Regnum Angliae. That's what they're called. Regnum Angliae, except. Uh, become an adventurer and ride to your destiny. So, because this is a let's play and I'm not able to sit 50 hours on, uh, behind my desk recording, I would if I could, but I can't, so I shan't. Uh, I'll allow myself to save. And we have lots of agility, which is, uh, let's see, agility each point gives 5. Weapon points and slightly increases the movement speed. The following skills can now be cannot be developed beyond one third of agility. Weapon master, shield, athletics, riding, horse archery, looting. My uh, gear will be a shield, a large shield um, for my back and uh, <laughs> moving forward against archers with uh, a two-handed sword. Sword. So uh, whilst riding on my horse. Whilst riding horseback, I'm able to, to swing easier towards my enemies and I'll also use bow and arrow 
because the amount of arrows you get is, uh, is very handy, especially during sieges when you have to uh, take out enemy archers from uh, from the walls. So charisma gives you party size, leadership, trade management. Um, not really need that in the beginning. I just need to be a very strong. Let's even it out. So seven, seven, eight, twelve, seven, seven. We now also have seven skill points we can use. Uh, yes. So power draw for the bow. Uh, iron flash, resist, uh, power strike. Also handy. Also, I'm in need of first aid and surgery and wound treatment. First aid is uh, to to regain health after a battle from uh, personal your uh, heroes, companions. <laughs> And prison management's always nice. It's all nice to have, let's see. Uh, prison manager is a leader skill. Persuasion is a personal skill. Engineering. Uh, let's see. No, wait. Uh, body speed heals. Nope. Iron Flash. Oh, bro. Stop. Stop messing up. Uh, whatever. So I said Iron Flash. Power Draw. And... Not Rune Treatment. Surgery. First Aid. And because I uh, ticked another in Intellect. Or, yes, intelligence. We now have more sh skill points, so let's max that one out. And anything else useful? Power strike, yes. And archery is already maxed out. Two handed weapons. And our name. Let's see, we are female thief, but we're serving the English. Uh, let's see. Mm, I don't know any famous. Uh, let's just see. There we go. until <coughs> we get something just something it does really matter in the beginning because uh, after a while you just can uh, put on a silly hat and later on uh, a full covering helmet so alright uh, you hear about Europe a land torn between rival kingdoms battling each other for supremacy a heaven for knights and mercenaries cutthroats and adventurers all willing to risk their lives in pursuit of fortune, power or glory. In this land which holds great dangers and even greater opportunities, you believe you may leave your past behind and start a new life. You feel that finally you've hold the key of your destiny in your hands, free to choose as you will, and that whatever, whatever course you take, great adventures will await you. Great adventures. Draw, drawn by the stories you hear about Europe, in its kingdoms, you, you, came by caravan through the heart, through the heartland of Europe. Green shoots of wheat, barley, and oats are beginning to push through the dark oil, soil of the ro of the rolling, rolling hills. And on the lower slopes of the snow-capped mountains, herds of cattle and sheep are grazing on the spring grass. Occasionally, too. You catch sight of one of, of the great war horses that are the pride of the European nobility. The land here is rich, but also troubled, as the occasional burnout farm bears witness. You, you keep a wide berth, berth, berth of a forest, of the forests, where the, the desperate men have taken refuge, 
and it is some relief when you crest a ridge and catch and catch sight of a great city of London. Its rooftops made golden by the last rays of the sitting, setting sun. You were exhausted by the time you find the inn in London and fall asleep quickly. However, you wake before dawn and are eager to explore your surroundings. You venture out onto the streets, which are still deserted. All of a sudden, you hear a sound that stands the hair of your neck and, on an end, the rasp of a blade sliding from its scabbard. Yeah. So, let's see, we begin with a spear and a shield. Spear is really not uh, handy in the beginning, but still we'll just roll with it. Block, thrust, block, thrust. And victory. So uh, basically every Mountain Blade uh, version starts with this. This is just uh, the vanilla version and uh, the mod itself uh, creates more more units, more textures, bigger land. I mean you got all of Europe, you've got England, you've got France, Spain, even Turkey, the north. It's basically the uh, the map of uh, Rome to the War but in a different uh, game. Yeah. Are you alright? Well I guess you're alive at any rate. I'm not sure that we can say the same for the other fellow. It's one less thief to, or to trouble our streets at night. Although, heaven knows he won't be the last. Anyway, maybe you can help me with something. Let's talk more inside. Out here, we don't know who's listening. Uh -huh. The merchant takes you to his house. Once inside, he stands by the door for a while checking the street. And then, finally, convinced you have have not been followed, comes near, near you to speak. Hello. Now, let's explain my proposition. We've had brigands on the hill, on the hills, driven to ban banditry by war, debt or love or, vi or violence. Recently, however, they've been getting bolder leaving their camps in the wild and venturing into town looking for unwary prey. The watch commander tells us it's because of all the fighting on the frontiers. Fewer men to keep an eye on the streets, but I'm not sure what to make of this. Make of that. It seems to me that the most logical explanation is that these bandits have an ally inside the wall, walls who helps to enter unnoticed and helps them identify particular tempting targets. Last week, you see, they took my brother. I don't know what my brother was thinking, a lad from a prominent house out alone after dark in times like these. these. Well, I suppose you were too, but you're a stranger here and didn't know how bad things have become. He had no such excuse but his family, so what can you do? But his family, so what can you do? If you don't protect your your kin, the people will start thinking that you can't protect your investments either. And I can't have that. No doubt the gang will soon send word about a ransom, but I don't care to pay it. So here's my pr proposition. You look like you've had a bit of experience with a blade. And uh, more importantly, you must, have a, you must have a bit of fire in your belly. Or you wouldn't be be coming to Europe to seek your fortune. So that's what I'm asking you to do. Go to a small party, track, track down these bandits to their lair, teach them a lesson they won't forget and get my brother back safe. In return, you will earn lasting my lasting gratitude and a bit of silver. What do you say? Well, a bit of silver is always nice. So yeah, let's just uh, skip this and be gone. So you've taken your first quest. You may view 
your quest log by pressing the Q anytime in the game. 